what's going on you guys and welcome back to the channel so this video is going to be a little bit different from all the other videos that i do uh you know all the other videos is more about doing the trail camping hiking exploring off-roading that kind of content but today we're going to do a little bit of a product review and that product is that guy right there so that's the set power rv 45s and uh, Set Power sent this out to me to do a little bit of uh, testing on uh, one of their fridge freezer combo here. And so they, I've been having this thing for a month and a half right now. I'll put the uh, unboxing video right now. So after a few figuring out, got to work. It's hard to hear, but it's going very, very low, which is really nice. It's not noisy at all. So it's connected to my power outlet here. So what you have to do is you actually have to press and hold the on button for like a good three seconds for it to turn on. And then if you ever need a cigarette lighter, you can use that too. But for now, I want to try to cool it down and see how long it'll last with my uh, Jackery. Let's check it out. Now that it's cooled down, I want to try to see how much uh, water draw from my uh, Jackery here. So my Jackery is only a 240. And uh, it's on eco mode right now, low. And it's drawing about 33 watts. But I think it's gonna cool, once it cool down, I think it's gonna be a little bit less, we'll see. So I set the temperature at about uh, 36 and once it got to that, it actually, actually went a little bit lower, 32. Uh, but now it's only drawing one watt on the Jackery. So once it cooled down, it doesn't draw that much power. So this is nice. So definitely I'm gonna just connect it to my Jackery and just have it run and we'll see what kind of result we'll get. But this is the first time trying this out. So normally when I go, overlanding, off-roading, camping, I have my uh, Yeti cooler, Yeti 75, but you know, when Seth Power sent this to me, I wasn't too uh, kind of skeptical about it. I wasn't sure if something is a product that I'm going to be using, but after a month and a half of having this, I really, really like this fridge freezer combo. Uh, and so I definitely going to have, going to keep this and use it for the rest of other trips that I have coming up. So the reason why I like having this is that, first of all, you don't need ice, right? We just got back from uh, Sequoia National Park uh, off-roading combo camping trip. And it was so hot, it was over a few days over 100 degrees. And our friends that have uh, a few fr uh, freezer, uh, sorry, cooler with them, they have to keep getting ice. And well, we didn't, we just have this connected to our Jackery and uh, yeah, it's been keeping all of our food uh, cold, our drinks cold on the trail, go when we go camping and whatnot. So that is one plus of having uh, this compared to having a regular like cooler. So another benefit of having this fridge freezer combo over having a regular uh, ice chest or cooler is that when you get home from your trip, you don't really have to empty the cooler out and get rid of the water. Um, when we get home from our trip, all we have to do is just wipe this down and then let it air dry in our shed. Uh, compared to our Yeti cooler, which sometimes I have to hose it all down, the inside get rid of the water, and uh, sometimes there's you know juice from different type of meat that uh, get unpackaged and you know stuff like that that happens regularly when you go home from a trip. So that way I have to really clean it out and make sure it's dry. Uh, so that's the benefit of, of actually having a fridge freezer combo over having just a regular ice chest co uh, cooler. So 
So this Power RV45S uh, fridge freezer combo can hold up to about 69 uh, cans of drink and about 37 water bottles and about 28 wine bottles. And the capacity is about 45 quarts and the temperature range between zero to 50 uh, Fahrenheit. As was mentioned, it's only weighed 46 pounds, so it's not the, uh, the heaviest uh, of freezer. And it's built really nice. I like the way it's look. I like the way that there's uh, two locking mechanism and this carrying handle, which make it really easy. So usually I can carry it by myself and just put it in, the fr in, in uh, my truck and just let it stay there. And whatever we need it, we just open it from the inside, you know, and uh, it should work. So uh, that's really nice having all the capacity. And uh, when it comes to charging, as was mentioned, I usually just have it connected to my Jackery and my Jackery connected to my uh, cigarette lighter in the car when we're driving. And when we're not driving, we'll go out, you know, exploring, camping. We just have the Jackery connected to that. And then we have a solar panel out and then it keep the Jackery charged. We charge this and then in turn, we don't need any ice. So it's great having this uh, on our many adventure and we're looking forward to using this on um, many other adventure that's coming up. Uh, as with any fridge freezer combo, the first thing you have to do is what they call cool down time. So what we do during the night before on our trip is we put all our food, our uh, uh, drinks and meat and whatever into the cooler and let it uh, cool down overnight. And in the morning, we just put it in our truck and we connect to a cigarette lighter or we just connect it to a Jackery. And uh, from there, you know, it just cool throughout the trip. So, so far the longest trip that we've taken with this is uh, three days, four days actually, three nights. And it connects to our Jackery 1000 and it, you know, barely uh, draw any watts. So uh, what happened is usually when the uh, compressor turn on, it, it sucks about like 30, 40 watts to kind of cool down when the temperature is over a certain amount. But afterwards it's only draw like two to three watts at a time. So with the Jackery 1000, we were able, so I did a test and I was able to do five days straight without charging it uh, with this cooler. So you can go five days straight if the ambient temperature is around 80 um, to cool down this fridge for five days straight. So that's a great benefit of having this. But obviously with any uh, fridge, you, it'd be nice to have uh, another source in which we do. We have a portable uh, solar panel. We keep charging it through a Jackery and the Jackery charged this. And so therefore when we do that, it consistently stay cool throughout our trip. All right guys, we well, hope you liked that video review uh, on this fridge freezer combo. As was mentioned, I was a little bit skeptical about having a fridge freezer uh, when we go camping, exploring, but now having it for a month and a half, I gotta say that I'm not going back to having a cooler anymore. Just having this is so much better. Uh, we saved so much money already. Uh, our friends had his cooler out for three days on our last trip, and he was spending, I think, $20 a day on ice alone. So that's like, three days so 60 bucks right there and we were just continuous charges with our jackery and it stay cold everything stay cold and it's not wet when you take it out so i love having this i'm definitely a fan now i wasn't in the beginning i wasn't sure how it would be but definitely going to be using this for more of our adventure so set power did give me a percentage to give to you guys uh, so i'll put in the link and you guys can save up to 12 percent on this exact model and so this is the one that uh, I have. So this is Zach model will be uh, given as a discount. So, I'll, and I also put them uh, the link into their website down below and then any other contact you guys uh, regarding their product on there. So they do have a, a newer one that's gonna be really cool, dual zone kind of thing. So look out for that on their website. But uh, yeah, so far I really love it. I love having a fridge freezer combo and uh, definitely going to be using this. So if you guys want something that's really uh, affordable, I highly recommend checking them out and checking their product out. And uh, if you guys use that link, it does help uh, give a kickback to the channel. So really appreciate that. All right, guys, we we'll hope you enjoyed that video. Um, and then 
yeah, um, if you guys like these kind of content, uh, product review a little bit, I'll, I can do a little bit more. Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoy all the videos of my adventure, outdoor adventure. And if you guys like this kind of content, please uh, consider subscribing and uh, that would help out with the channel a lot. We appreciate every uh, feedback, comments, like, and share that you guys uh, uh, give to the channel. So I really appreciate it. Until next time, then uh, I'll talk to you guys uh, later.